There you go. Lots You're in Arizona. Great. All right, here we go. Grand Canyon State. All right, here we go. I will, now it has to be perfect. Nice. Can you believe it? You guys have been to Arizona. Papa, I, I accidentally left my feet I in the backyard, but under the um. Porch. I finished. Oh, dude, I love the Hawaii shirt. I love the Hawaii dress. I love the Hawaiian t-shirt. You guys are doing great and a good spirit. I'm feeling pretty good. Look at this place. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Fall cleaning is coming along. Okay, you guys ready to have breakfast? Yeah! You guys ready to milk a goat? Yeah! Yeah? In Arizona. Nice. Alaska, Hawaii, California, Nevada, Utah, Colorado. Bacon. We got eggs. We got some greens from the garden. Grab a plate over here, you guys, and then we'll, Kevin, you want to get some spoons and stuff and we'll uh, serve it. Um, if your kids want milk, this is the goat's milk. Oh, they will totally want This milk. is like, it's really mild, so it's not like regular goat's milk that you find. Yeah. Okay. Is it that time? And then yep. You in charge of milking this morning? Yeah. Do you know what helps the medicine go down? Sugar. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> I see you're coming to do business. You got your filing cabinet? Yep. Okay. We always need a filing cabinet. <laughs> there you are. Josh, she's big. This is old hat for you, huh? Yeah. Did you drink some milk this morning? No. <laughs> Why not? She's not actually. I don't like no, milk for She's not a milk drinker. No. Well, what motivates you to come out here and do this every morning? Um, I don't know. I don't know, it's just become a habit. The first time they got us to do it, they told us we'd go to Disneyland if we did it. We did, that was did you? Did, did you go to Disneyland? Okay, that was our good. When we came back, we just kept doing it. And there were no deals stop. after that? There's no Disney no, World again? No, it was one Disneyland huh? trip. Hey, we did Harry Potter Land this That's year. how we got him to yeah. learn how to milk. It Keep was it hard. Up, it takes daily practice and... Yeah, they that was their little incentive. It sounds like uh, you and Ethan need to go on uh, strike. Yes. <laughs> Make a sign. <laughs> Refuse to milk. <laughs> Disneyland or bus. Okay, okay kiddos. Let's try it. Okay, give him a little lesson, Liddy. You shouldn't scoot it a little away from her feet. Did you give her any cream? Right. No, no, I forgot. We gotta have this on wow, camera. she's being very patient. She's really yeah, she's a pretty good girl. Despite, a despite not giving her a treat. Here, yeah. Sorry, I forgot. I see how you treat your workers, kind of like your parents. <laughs> Say they're gonna take you to Disneyland and then no, don't. Kind of like you're not feeding you that go. poor goat a snack. There you go. Do you guys know the basics of milking? Just squeezing the teeth and stuff? I, I can have milk. This back one doesn't have as much milk, but you can still get some out of it if you try. Oh. So show her how to like first trap the milk. Oh, you got it. Yeah, she's got to get her aim It's right. a little bit hard to aim, but. <laughs> Just squeeze away. Keep going. Keep going at that one. All right. Good job. She's very patient go with this one. She has a good yeah. There you go. You got it. Oh, that one. <laughs> Jeez, maybe you should stay here. We'll just let you we'll take you to Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Lily. I need to go to Disney you need to get a signed contract. <laughs> you know, like a lot of people, when they milk cows, they kind of they kind of pull down a little bit and kind of kind of pinch it out. But with goats, because the teats are shorter, you really pinch the teat first and then do the rest of the squeezing. So you're kind of blocking off the milk and then squeezing it out. Is it time? Is it yes. time to go strain that? Yeah. That's it. That's it. Right into your jar. Technically, you could drink that right now. You could, yeah. We Would like to like get to it cool cold. It? Yeah. And you know, we're this is we're like at the end of our milking cycle. You know, we're we're pretty low on milk right now. Normally, okay. we're producing, you know, at least a half gallon a day. Lydia. Yes. How does it feel to have a garden and goats in your backyard? Farm like. Do all your friends have gardens and farms in their backyard? No. What do they think of you? I don't, they don't really 
Honestly, they probably just think I'm cool because <laughs> Good. cool a, a yes. combination of cool and weird. Okay. <laughs> kind of like a Mary Poppins type of yeah. character? Yes. Okay. <laughs> You're the Mary Poppins in your friend circle? Yes. Thank you. Oh, he's he's serious. Yeah. He's broke out the wheelbarrow. What are you going to do with that wheelbarrow, Kevin? We are going to get some good soil for our garden. Oh. All this stuff that the goats have been pooping on and then wow. they smash up the poop for I'd us. say so. They haven't been in here for a while, so we can... You alternate these goats between these two pins? Yeah. This this manure is a little bit more broken down? Yeah. Are you gonna Are you going to strain that out? Yeah, we'll try to get some of the poop out of there. Ah, oh, you browsing for them now, huh? Yeah. Well, they love you. So is this no, playground for you or for them? Everyone. Everyone. Well, Tilly's usually the only one who comes up here. Cause so all the other goats are fat and don't like to move a lot. Does, do any? Oh, there she is. Yay! Now, uh, oh, here you go. Did she go down the slide? <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> must we That's for you. Oh, that's for Kevin? Yeah. Kevin, this slide is for you? That's right. Kevin, what's this? This is a pomelo tree. Oh, I would have never guessed that. It's like a sweet grapefruit. It's really, really good. All right, so we're gonna try to plant some einkorn wheat cool. today. So you guys know what einkorn is, and it's kind of like an ancient wheat. It's supposed to be, I don't really eat gluten, but my family does, and it's supposed to be uh, an easier to digest gluten. Yeah. So I thought, what the heck? Cool. Let's try to grow it. Um, because I'm all about experimenting, trying new stuff. You see this goat? Yeah, this one's the active one. If they break really easy, then then you're in good shape. Yeah, and this is a real farmer right there, sifting through the manure. Yeah. You're getting the you're you're getting the dry stuff. You're keeping the dry stuff. Kevin, do your friends think you're nuts? My friends, I don't really have any friends. <laughs> <laughs> um, come on, give Kevin some. Somebody uh, give Kevin a like here. Let's give Kevin That's some friends. Right. <laughs> guys I play basketball. You ran him off. <laughs> the guys I play basketball with don't really know what a, what a goat. Like he doesn't talk about it at basketball camp. Yeah. Huh? You go play beatball? Yeah. So they you go be really, cool? They don't really know what a goat is. They don't know that you're really about. cool because you have goats and stuff? They well, don't really geez. know what a goat is and stuff. <laughs> what do they like to talk about? Um, get, get, this, get this corner over here. Boring so stuff yeah. like <laughs> work <laughs> and put the strippers back down. Boo. They don't even know what real life okay, is. Let's lay these back down and then we're done. Poop and <laughs> they don't like to talk about sifting stuff. through your goat manure. No, no. To, to squeeze it to see if it's dry and ready for the garden or not. No, they don't like no. to talk about that. <laughs> they don't want to squeeze anything or Go ahead, yeah, you can go ahead and okay. However you can get it in there. Straight up. Yeah, Straight up. Dirt and manure together. Yeah, we're going to just kind of mix that in with our potting soil that we have already in here. It's going to be pretty dusty. Let's get us. Let's spray it. Mm. Mom okay. does the garden because she doesn't trust us. That there's been a couple times when we left this open and the goats have gotten in and eaten a lot of stuff. So <laughs> we lost the responsibility of watering uh, the garden. Oh, now we know we why Disneyland got taken away. Yeah. Now we know the why truth. Disneyland. The truth is coming out. <laughs> We took them once! That's enough! <laughs> yeah. You're still paying for that, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, even Ethan says, yeah. yeah. He knows. How long, have they, how long have you guys been having a garden and goats? Um, I think we made it like one or two years after we got here. Around, it was like seven or eight years ago. Can you remember not having No, not a really. I can't, I can't remember coming out here and not having a garden. So. Okay, do you do do your friends have a garden? I have like one or two friends who have a garden, but not really. Well, do those two friends that do have a garden have a goat? Uh, they have like rabbits and things, but not So goats. what do they think about you in your garden and goat in your backyard? They're always like, wow, you have goats and stuff. I used to have goats, but now I don't <laughs> because I don't like them. They smell okay, bad. so you're all right. They get you. Yeah. Huh? What's your favorite thing? about having gardening goats? Probably just all the experience I get from it. What kind of experience? Well, I just, I get to say, oh, I have a garden and I have goats. Do you think you'll have a gardening goat when you grow up? Pretty high chance that I will.
and all my research, which I've done none, um, we, I think we just throw it in the, in the dirt, <laughs> I don't know. Um, from what I understand, it's pretty easy to sprout. So we're going to, we're not gonna like stick our finger in and do holes, we're just gonna kind of spread it across. Yeah, and this is your first time? My first time. Okay. Let's pull back a little I, bit of dirt. If I own a, a plant from plant. And then let's, uh, let's sprinkle it and then I'll kind of cover it with that dirt that I pulled back. Yeah. And we're just gonna we're gonna see how it sprouts. We're gonna just try it out here. You can study and research all day, or you can just go out and plant. You can just do it. Goes. Um, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Not, wait, over not, here, not, baby. not there yet. We're gonna we're gonna make one loaf of bread <laughs> from That's right. this whole thing. Cup your hand a little bit like that. There you go. What about your friends, Donnell? Did they think you're crazy? Well, my family definitely thought I was crazy <laughs> uh, because I was not raised with goats or chickens or anything. Um, but, you know, you find your little tribe wherever you live. You find yeah. your, your group of crazy people, which we'll meet tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and the cra At the meetup. Yeah, the crazy people growing their food in the desert here. Yeah. Um, but okay. I don't know, there's something really fun about just uh, doing it, even despite the failures. It's, it's really enjoyable. Come on, you're talking about failures, but I'm looking around and seeing nothing but <laughs> success. Well, thanks. Beautiful garden. Okay, that's good. Beautiful Jennifer. kids working, working every morning. Want to spray this down? Mm -hmm. Beautiful bugs that try to eat some of our plants. <laughs> Come on now. Yeah. Is the glass ha glass half empty or half yeah, full? Yeah, that's true. Come on. No, it's fun, and we do have some, we do have success too. But I think it's like embracing, uh, not being afraid of the Ooh, failure. That's, that's a big part of it. You are vlogging. Where's this vlog at? This is Weedaman Reap. Yep. On YouTube. Danelle Wolford. Okay. If you guys want more of her, check that out. Hey kids, was it good to get your hands dirty again? Uh-huh. Come on now. Yes. Was it good to get your hands dirty again? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. If you guys are interested in more do-it-yourself type of stuff with goats, like uh, what do you need? How to get going? Where do you get the ghost? That type of stuff. We talked more with Danelle about that, and I put it in my member area, my Do It Yourself Abundance member area. And right now, you can try that for just a dollar. You can try it for a week for a dollar. I think we're on like 50 videos or something like that. And then you could be done, or you can continue on and opt in monthly. So check that out. I'll leave the link to that down in the description. Tomorrow, we're gonna explore this more. We're gonna get more of Danelle's story. We're gonna talk about what you can do in the desert on one acre. It's absolutely amazing, this one acre farm in suburbia. We're gonna tell that story. We also gotta meet up. It should be a lot of fun.